gamers. Now let's not be cringe. Today, we have a Dauntless 1.9.x roadmap patch pipeline uh, video for you. Break down this patch timeline. They launched this yesterday as of today, a couple days ago, right after the patch notes. So we have an update from them on like when we get the content at what stages. And then I'll have some extra notes that I can throw in with that info. But, all right, yeah. Consider dropping a like on the video, subscribing, liking and subscribing. Those are the most important things, all right? And they're free. The most important things are free, so you should do those, all right? And then you should also use code the Mr. Trails if you're planning on buying the Hunt Pass this uh, this season, but, or anything in the, in the Platinum Stop, yeah. All right, let's get into this. So here, we have 1.9.0. This is the patch that is launching right now as we are speaking yesterday as you are watching this on YouTube. But 1.9.0, Lawless Guys Hunt Pass, Permanent Hunt Passes, Bounty System Update, Island Event Improvements, Chain Blade Heavy Attacks should be on here, man. Chain Blade Heavy Attacks are so important. So we, we know what's in 1.9.0. 1.9.1, we have additional Savit Cosmetics, which I believe are, you know, they were working on these as like a rumor quest thing, but they didn't launch them for some reason. I think they didn't, they either didn't finish them or there was a bug with it. Then we have the Saints Bond event uh, for Valentine's Day. And we have more island event improvements. And I don't know why they didn't put this on here, but there are a couple of other chain blade adjustments that will be coming in the 1.9.1 or 1.9.2 patches. Both of them will be, both of them will be, uh, I hope they they add on another adjustment to what they have already because my main thing that needs to that needs to still happen is any reason whatsoever aside from defense to use a chain blade reaper's dance light attack follow up because reaper's dance light attack was the majority of of at least the momentum blades playstyle before but it's just completely dead now I want to see that come back in some degree even if even if it's like you know you put a mod on that literally takes away your iframes on that attack for more damage or something that would be fine i think i think i would be fine with that uh 1.9.2 all they have here is saint saint's bond event continued this sort of a patch would be you're looking at mostly bug fixes and stuff like that i don't think we will see anything it, it looks like we're not going to see anything too major in this patch but there's there's always a chance that something sneaks in here that is actually really big deal right like the chain blade changes in the past few seasons there's been a string like where you have two patches that are kind of hefty on the content and then you have one patch that is pretty much not really content but bug fixing which i i can appreciate you know don't don't have everything in the game be spaghetti code right try to try to get it try to get some of it under control right so 1.9.3 we have the radiant behemoth variants we've got improvements to conundrum rocks which potentially we'll see some of the radiant behemoth variants in conundrum rocks and reach of radiance hunt pass as you would expect being you know it's a one point uh every point zero point three is usually the hunt passes but you might find it odd that we have just the radiant behemoth variants in here and not be a you know the actual radiant esca and from what i have been explained is that radiant esca is going to be radiant esca is still in the concept stage while they have moved everything else to production the reasoning for that is that uh they don't have as big of a team size as when they worked on previous escalations so we're gonna get the variant behemoths first and the new and the newer behemoth first and then they will make the radiant escalation be after that and i'm assuming we'll get these valamir improvements before that too seeing as they're in production although they would probably just tack this up to bug fixes so they wouldn't really put it on here S since they have that smaller team they are going to work on getting the the behemoth variants out first so that there's not like a huge content drought right we're not going to go from 1.8 or 1.8.3 being the biggest patch and then nothing throughout this entire time, right? So we're going to get the Behemoth variants first and we're going to get the Radiant Omni Cell. But then you see Radiant Omni Cell Island Activity Glider Courses. Glider Courses are going to be a thing. And Springtide 
in the future patches. I would, th I would think the Radiant Omni Cell is probably a 1.9.4 thing, given that it looks like they have already started on that right here. So yeah, from the looks of it, I would say this season, or this hunt pass at least, there's not going to be a ton going on, right? There's going to be the Saints Bond events. We're starting a little bit slow this year, right? I think, uh, didn't Frost Esca come around come out around this time anyway once march comes along we'll probably start picking up the pace i think it would make way too much sense that as they launch radiant escalation that would complete the elemental escalation pool right i think it would make way too much sense that that would be patch 2.0 even if we went into you know patch 1.9.9 right if we added on another hunt pass into this season I, I think it would make way too much sense for them to to have that be patch 2.0. Yeah, no no real news on this on the Radiant Omni Cell yet. Uh, there was a joke from Aurelia uh, about my question: Is the is the new Omni Cell drone and Perfect Strike put together? And she said, "Perfect drone and a strike forever are the new Omni Cells." So yes, confirmed, confirmed. Yeah, hopefully I, I would say. Hopefully the chain blade changes that they neglected to put on here are actually big enough to like keep interest up because I don't think the Saints Bond's not going to do it based on what we got last year. We got some new weapon skins and whatnot, but I, got, I guess we could throw this in here as well. So, you know, they put all these in testing. I don't know. You could have put this into live. They'll probably put this into live later in this week and then make an actual announcement on this being updated. But you can see what they've slid into production is Saints Bond, which is 1.9.1. Quest Gaps, which I, I don't know. They didn't put this, they didn't really put this on there, but I'm guessing that'll be 1.9.1, 1.9.2, potentially. I don't know how hard it is to make a new quest, right? Can't be, can't be like that hard, I would I would think. Reach of Radiant Sun Pass, uh, 1.9.3, obviously. Radiant Variants said 1.9.3. Radiant Omni Cell, probably 1.9.4. Uh, I don't think this would be 1.9.5. Island improvements to Conundrum Rocks first. They said 1.9.3. Valamir improvements. Valamir improvements could be 1.9.2 potentially. I could see that, but potential, but probably 1.9.3 with the Conundrum Rocks improvements. And then 1.9.2 would basically just be full bug fixing. And then Springtide. So it looks like we are actually getting a Springtide armor. I don't know if I mentioned that. I don't know. I don't know if we'll top the uh, the Puffle Poppers though. Puffle Poppers too strong. This could realistically, as long as they already had the artwork for it, right? It, it, once they get the artwork for it, it wouldn't take that long to model, right? So this this could literally go from concept to live before next patch. But I don't know. I, I figured they would have already had this done. Give us more incentive to play Heroic Esca. Yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this.